Hello ladies. Well, I'm going to attempt these 10 questions that I've been tagged to do. And, um, because <laughs> I've cried for the dog that, that much the last two days, um, my eyes are bugging out, so I think it's better if you didn't see the state of me. Um, so, the 10 questions that uh, Debbie Brown answered um, really well I thought on her video um, she tagged me along with um, three or four other ladies um, so following on them from Debbie Brown's video my first question is what is my name well my name is Mary Barrett and I was born Mary Carmel and um, when I, my mum was carrying me um, a bull terrier had a fit near to my mum and my mum was terrified of dogs so when I was born uh, I was <laughs> I was supposedly uh, a look-alike for a bull terrier and there's the proof the little flat nose squashed across the face. I was always laughing and I'm just the same. So that was me as a little bull terrier, as Mary Carnell. I did pretty up a bit though. Um, do you remember me telling you about my neighbour who absolutely adored her and she adored me? Well, that was her wedding photo. She's bending down there talking to me because I was shy. So I'm the little bridesmaid. Bless her. Uh, I did shape up. Um, I got married, got divorced and I got remarried tw about 12 years ago. And that was uh, my second my second wedding. A pink blamange in the church doorway there. So that's that one. And then uh, a more recent one, of course. <laughs> Must bring her back. <laughs> I feel quite pretty when I look at her. Bless her, whoever she is. Right, now then, question two. How did you come up with the channel name? <laughs> well, that's easy. Um, I set the channel up. It was like the blind leading the blind. And uh, it, it, it set up with my name. Uh, and I didn't know how to change it. <laughs> so I was stuck with it. So I'm, I'm stuck with it. I still don't know how to change it if I needed to. So... I'm Mary Barrett. Uh, question number three, favourite craft. Um, I can't say I've got a favourite because I've got so many different hobbies, as you know. Um, I do like paper crafting, but I'm only just getting into it, so I find that I'm quite inexperienced and there's such a lot to learn. But I was brought up... Um, uh, really sewing, knitting, uh, and it sort of developed from there. As you know, as I got older, uh, made my own clothes, did my own curtains and bed sets, anything, anything to do with needlework, sewing machine, I used to do. Um, I do like beading, beadwork. I've never tired of that particularly. Some hobbies that I do uh, get a little bit bored with, but the fact that I've got so many hobbies, I can jump from one to, to another. I, uh, I do like to crochet. I have to be in the mood these days for knitting. I used to do a lot of knitting. Embroidery. I love to embroider, but it needs time and patience and 
I'm really getting into journaling. I think I'd like to, to make some, some more journals. I've just made two, three. Um, but I think I could get into journaling quite easily. Question four. My favourite place to buy crafts. Well, I don't go out an awful lot these days. So I buy from Etsy. I buy from eBay. If we go to antique fairs, uh, places like that, I'll, I always come back with something. So those are the, the main places that I buy from. Occasionally Amazon. Uh, question five. Um, top five crafters. I found this extremely difficult because everybody's a top crafter in their own right, aren't they? Um, all I can say is, um, just draw your attention to some of the, the crafters that I've bought from, um, that I like to follow. My um, favourite paper crafter, I think, uh, has to be Jen Miller. Now, uh, Jen Miller makes bunny and mini bunny journals and they're little works of art I love the bunnies and these little books mini books she also does bigger journals not so much these days as she used to um, she can't make these fast enough um, they sell out as fast as they, they go on Etsy uh, I'm fortunate enough to have four of them uh, I just adore them there's lots to see. Um, they're very humorous and I love them. So I like Jen. Another brilliant uh, paper crafter that I found was Elegant Creations. And if you remember, that's one of hers. Elegant Creations, a stunning, stunning journal. Very, very vibrant. And I've just bought another one of hers and I'll show you that in a separate video. So Elegant Creations, love her work. Um, I can give you a list as long as you are know, of, of uh, fabulous crafters. Um, let's, let's just name a few for you. Sorry if I leave anybody out, but these are the ones that um, I tend to uh, follow a lot. Uh, Laquita of Pampered Petals, uh, she's uh, my favourite crafter. Uh, I owe her such an awful lot because when I started on YouTube last year, um, she did a challenge which I entered and Julie Derry did a challenge and I entered that one more or less simultaneously and Laquita asked me if, she, if I would do a swap with her I, I think if she hadn't I might not have just carried on because I, um, I didn't know where to go next after I'd done the tag challenge and very very new at it um, that's one of uh, Laquita's lovely little lace books um, that's one of my back videos but it's an absolutely stunning little book, lots of embroidery, beadwork, uh, it's a classic, love it. Um, you can na name so many wonderful crafters. Um, the, the queen of the, the journals, uh, Jean Rag. Jean Rag, I admire, she's got a wealth of experience. She's done everything that there is to do. Uh, I think she's, she's, there's nothing she hasn't done. This is one of my favourite little journals of hers. It's a little sewing journal and I was lucky enough to be able to purchase that. And it's just wonderful. I love it. It's a gorgeous little book. And uh, she does the larger lace books of course and I've got a couple of three of hers and that's a Beatrix Potter one that I purchased from her. Stunning work. We all know Jane, don't we? Uh, Jane Marge. Wonderful worker, Jane Marge. 
I don't know if you remember this uh, gorgeous Christmas. Let me just pull out a bit on this one. This gorgeous Christmas journal from last year uh, that I won in a challenge. It's a beautiful book. And I've got a few things of Jane Marge's which are beautiful. And if I just show you one odd item. Um, who have we got next? One of my favourites is uh, Debbie Harris of Crafty Stuff. Uh, this is one of her little journals which she gifted to me. Her work is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oops, I'll pick that up in a minute. Um, a, lot, a lot of these obviously are on back videos of mine. Lynn Bentley, you've seen all Lynn's work in the vi video previous to this one. Um, Casey creates, lovely Carla. I've got a few things of Carla's. If you remember, that's Carla's wall hanging. Um, lovely Sharfisher. She does uh, some lovely work, Shar. I think Debbie's tagged Char to uh, do a video. So, uh, wonderful work, wonderful work from Char. Again, that's my, on one of my back videos if you wanted to have a look at that one. Uh, now then, uh, crafters, that, um, crafters that I'm watching at the moment, Sue Gregory, that day in time, there's another lovely crafter I like in Australia, Tracy Lyon Verner I think her, her name is. Nadine Bassari in France, she does some lovely work. Um, Siobhan Pearl and Button, she does beautiful work. I've got one of her altered, um, altered file folders. Got it somewhere. Um, another lady I'm watching at the minute, Klimi's Creations. Girl on the Ridge, Laurie, she, she does some lovely stuff because I like shabby vintage. I like Marie Blundell and she's got an Etsy shop. Um, uh, journals number 29 I think it's called. her journal to hand. Um, which is annoying because I wanted to show you that it was lovely. Um, but that's Marie Blundell. Vivian 3108, she's a sweetheart, she's a, a relative newbie um, but she does some lovely work and she's a very nice person. Uh, Edwina, we know she's a, a stalwart, isn't she, Edwina? Debbie Vignola does fabulous work. Uh, Karen Louise Munro. Uh, I quite like Karen's work. Um, if you recall, she did the uh, American Indian Journal that I uploaded. Uh, but just so many, so many wonderful, wonderful ladies out there. Um, so those are some of my favourite channels that, that I watch and um, as I say there's so many wonderful crafters and I'm bound to have left lots of people out but you know who you are. Um, 
Jackie Chimes is another. Uh, Rhonda Winstead, she's quite quite a good uh, crafter too. I like Rhonda. I better carry on, otherwise we'll, I'll run out of time. Uh, my favourite colour, uh, number six. Favourite colour is green. Um, I do like lilac and purples. In fact, purple is a healing colour. But what I've found is, if I sleep in a room that's got Debbie, was sp Debbie spark about, she wanted a room with a uh, white lace bedspread and or lilac and purples uh, embellishments in the room. Well, I've got that in in the one room, and I find I'm not comfortable in there. I prefer being in a room that's uh, got a soft moss green colours in and you will find that if you went into a field and where there's trees and anywhere where there's green and foliage you'll automatically feel better uh, it's really a healing colour green more so than lilac I feel um, right number seven my favourite craft tool it has to be uh, a friskers trimmer, paper trimmer, because I'd be lost without it. I'd be lost without a really good pair of scissors. don't mean a cheap pair, you need a really good pair of scissors for crafting as well as cutting out fabric, keep them separate. As you probably know, I'm probably telling you things you already know. Um, my Number eight, my love of crafting, where does it come from? Um, I think with a lot of us, uh, a lot of crafters, you watch your mother when you're younger. And my mother used to cut out her own clothes, uh, patterns, and I'd watch her. Um, she didn't show me. She, I don't think she never showed me how to sew anything. I watched her and learned from from that. Um, she did teach me how to knit when I was five. I've got uh, knitting pins and wool, where from I don't know, and I was sitting by the fireside with the wool and pins and she'd been watching me for quite a while trying to knit. And in the end she said, I'll show you. And I think that's the, <laughs> I know this sounds strange, I think it's the only thing she ever taught me. Uh, and, it's, and I was so grateful for it. Um, and talking about knitting, I, I learned to knit and I learned to knit a row, purl a row. And when I went to school, uh, the teacher said to us one day in class, can anybody knit? Put your hand up. And I put my hand up. And nobody else did and I couldn't understand why because I thought every little girl could knit. And uh, she said, show me. She said, it's a Kurt. I can, I'm in a five-year-old. And she says, right, right, right. Um, can you purl? I said, yes, I can purl as well. My mum taught me how to purl. Show me, show me. And I knitted into the front of the stitch as you do for purl. And she went, no, 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 that's totally wrong totally wrong you do not purl into the front of the stitch purl into the back and when you're a child and you believe everything your mum tells you I wanted to say to her no it's wrong my mum said this but of course you can't you couldn't answer back and, and uh, you respected your elders so I went back and I said to my mum you, you've shown me how to purl wrongly and she said, no, I haven't. She was a fabulous knitter. Um, but I've grown up with that in my mind all my life. That this particular teacher wanted to humiliate me in front of the class. So uh, some things stick with you. But I know how to purl. <laughs> so I grew up with knitting, sewing. Um, Later on, when I had a family, I used to make the children's clothes and um, my clothes. I used to make clothes for friends, do alterations and repairs. And then I got into sort of finest stuff, 
crafting um, again all soft taught really and it was a godsend when I found YouTube last year because uh, we're, we're still learning aren't we no matter what age we are we're learning all the time and it's a great journey to be on um, so that's where my love of crafting came from from watching my mother crocheting I watched my auntie and I asked her to show me and she said uh, she must have thought I was too young to learn and she said uh, oh it's all chains so she didn't teach me either so I s sat and watched her and uh, tried to understand what she was doing then I watched my sister she could do the chains but wasn't interested in learning anything else so I watched her, learned how to do the chains and then I bought some books and followed the instructions and the patterns and that's how I learned um, right when did you Oh, my grandma, yes, she used to sew as well. Now, she used to make long white aprons to the floor um, and sell them for a penny. A lady in the street used to buy them off her. Uh, you know, the long white aprons with the frills on that um, used to go over them. They used to wear a lot of black clothes, uh, dark clothes and these white starched aprons would go over the top. My mother charged a penny and one day the lady came and said uh, she wanted two and she wanted them next day virtually and um, I think my auntie, she sent my auntie with the aprons and she said tell her they're not a penny, they're a penny halfpenny." and uh, the lady went uh, <laughs> berserk apparently she paid up though but I think m my grandma was a bit tired of working hard for a penny um, right so that answers question nine as well when did you first start crafting Cause from a child onwards really my favourite craft at the moment that's question number ten um, it's hard um, I'm just getting into doing journals so I suppose your favourite craft is always the one that you're doing at, at the present time isn't it but uh, having said that I've got beading on the go cross stitched embroidery um, knitting those are what I've got at the minute but um, I think I'm happier uh, being involved with the journals I love books and, and creating so I was the answer to my 10 questions um, who to tag uh, I'm not quite sure about um, I don't know whether the, the established ladies will, will want to join in or have time to do that. Um, so I think what I would like to do is tag the people that I don't know very well and uh, who seem to have diverse uh, crafting abilities. So I think I'm going to try and ask uh, Sharon of Elegant Creations if she would. I'm going to ask Vivian 3108, she's in Ireland, um, I've only seen a little bit of her work but I think she would be interesting to get to uh, find out about. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to ask Sue Gregory of that day in time as well, see if she will uh, Participate. Debbie's asked Shah. Um, and if she hasn't asked Moni Goudenard of uh, Shabby um, Monique Bacante, if she hasn't asked Monique, 
I'll tag Monique as well. And I'd like to tag Laquita, of course. Um, so, yeah. Uh, those are my 10 questions ladies and I hope I've not bored you and um, thank you for looking in and uh, it's been interesting thanks and bye for now ladies bye